When it's raining or snowing, a fort provides endless fun for indoor play. Today I'm going to show you how to turn a sheet into a fun hideaway for your little adventurer. This tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. This video is part one and demonstrates how to sew the basic fort. Part two will show tips and techniques on embellishing the fort for even more pretend play fun. This fort is designed to cover a table and folds flat for easy storage. You can choose to cover a large table or a card table. I'm using a king size sheet on my kitchen table. One short end isn't quite long enough, so I'll be cutting off that end and replacing it with about a yard of extra fabric to create a doorway. Start by laying your sheet on the table. Line up two sides so that the fabric on those sides is even and touches the floor. Cut off the fabric on the short side. I have some excess fabric on one long side, so I'm going to trim it, leaving a couple of extra inches for hemming. You'll also have extra fabric bunched up in the corners. Cut a slit all the way up to the tabletop. Trim the fabric so you have an extra two inches along each side for hemming. Do this for both of the corners. Now we're going to fold and press all the raw edges. This fort won't be lined, so you'll need to fold the raw edges twice to encase the seams. Press and pin. You'll notice I'm pressing my fabric right on my tabletop. Be aware that heat can damage some varnishes, so you'll probably want to use your ironing board instead. My kitchen table has a distressed finish, so I'm not going to worry about it. Once the raw edges are pressed and pinned, we're going to work on the door panel. Cut the fabric to the width and length of the short end of your table plus an extra two inches on every side for hemming. Again, fold the raw edges twice, press and pin. Repeat for all four sides of the door panel. Now we'll add the door panel to the sheet by laying it face down on top of the sheet. Match up the edges of both fabrics and pin together. Leave a gap right in the middle to add the ribbon closure. To add the ribbon tie, cut a two foot length of ribbon. Tuck it between the layers of your door panel and your sheet in the center. Pin in place. I folded the end of my ribbon under itself to prevent fraying. Then add a second segment of ribbon underneath the sheet, matching it up to the other ribbon in the center. Pin in place. When you fold the fabric down, it should look like this. Now you're ready to sew. I'm starting with my door panel. Be sure that when you sew, the loose ends of your ribbon don't get caught up in your stitches. Sew all the right edges you have pinned on all sides of your fort. Next, press the seam of the door panel open and flat. Now try it on the table. You can keep the doorway open by rolling it up and tying a bow. If you'd like a more secretive fort, you can add grommets and ribbon ties at all corners. But my children are tiny and I don't want to be constantly lacing the edges up. Next comes the fun part, decorating. You can make this fort into a castle or a grocery store. I'm making mine into a pirate ship. Watch my next video to see how I do it. This table fort tutorial was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. For more project ideas and tutorials, visit madebymarzipan.com.